So welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, um, April 15, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have hit basically rock bottom here at the 50 moving average. So we're trading just at the 91.61. And this is a fairly good timing if I should make a prediction as uh, most indices are reaching uh, basically overstretched and overbought the territory. We are reaching basically significant support levels here at uh, um, the US dollar index. So if we were to rally from here, then it would not be uh, unheard of that we will see a pullback in the indices and most precious metals and commodities at this point which are significantly overstretched so uh, keep that in mind if this rallies then the other ones may fall and we'll probably also see uh, if we see yields increasing again then we could see a major fall in most indices for example so uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are still very bearish. The MACD is still uh, in positive territory, but is significantly underneath the signal line. Uh, Stochastic is bearish, the CCI, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. So if we get a green candlestick here above uh, these previous, uh, the previous highs from, from today, then we could head towards the 20 exponential at the 20 and 92, and the 200 at 92.3. And if that breaks, then we could head all the way back towards the very top here at 93.4. So let's look at oil. So oil has made a major move towards the upside. We have actually broken out of this uh, square, which we have been trading within the last uh, few weeks. So we basically broke out of it. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to continue higher. So we'll probably go and test the previous size here at 67. Uh, but a pullback at this point should be expected. Uh, technical indicators are very bullish at this point. Uh, but uh, pullback towards the 60, um, 61, give or take a 62. That probably could uh, have find support there. A break uh, all the way down towards the 50 moving average will most likely find major support. Uh, so we are also at the top of the bullish band, so a pullback at this point should be expected to put for going higher. But we do we have basically broken out of resistance to basically to the upside. So let's look at net, net gas. So we also here we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average. This is a fairly uh, pretty bizarre move for this time of year but uh, this is rallying so we are now trading above the 200 moving average we are most likely going to see a crossing again of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average and if this continues then we most likely will also have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average and that basically will send this even higher technical indicators are basically fairly bullish at this point MACD is still in negative territory above the signal line stochastic is bullish cci is bullish and the rsi is flat at this current stage but we this is a really hard rejection of the 50 moving average and this is not a not a really nice candlestick it basically if we get a red candlestick here tomorrow then this could basically just tumble back towards where it came so let's look at copper So copper did uh, really well today and uh, we are actually approaching an area where they'll probably find, find difficulties. So we can a little bit lower. So we can see how often we have basically been testing this area. And this is starting to look very similar to gold. I'll do that example in a moment. But gold before it basically dropped from 2000 also had a period where it tested a single point several times. It was also uh, trending into a corner like we can see that copper is doing. And what happened for gold was basically that it broke down. So we are trending into this corner. We got above the, um, the resistance line above, but pulled back. And now we're just in right in this corner. 
So we could see a breakout to the upside or basically to the downside. If we were to break to the downside, then we could basically see this drop significantly. So it, it is to be seen if, it, if the US dollar continues to, it will appreciate, then we will probably see selling pressure on this. Technical indicators are turning around and becoming bullish, uh, but uh, before we basically break out of this, uh, it is fairly difficult to basically say where we are basically going. Uh, green candlestick above here and also break above this resistant area, then that could share basically push this all the way to the previous highs after 4.3 and then to 4.5 and even probably 5 in the long run. So let's look at gold. So if you pull back a little bit, we had this uh, period over, no, sorry. Not working for me right now. So we had this period here. This is all the way back in August where we had this major rally, very similar to copper broke down and then we just went into this corner testing these uh, uh, period basically 2000 uh, 20 uh, 1950 to 2000 several times and then it just snapped to the uh, to the downside looks very similar to what is happening in copper but we need a confirmation um for gold it has not really recovered uh, from this uh, pull basically break out from this uh, triangle that we uh, we're in back in August, September, and it has basically been in a downtrend ever since. So, uh, yes, that is kind of something that could happen for copper, but uh, we'll basically see what happens here. So, if you look at gold, we have basically fallen a little bit today. Uh, technical indicators, they are, well, fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, uh, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. Break above of the 50, that could open the door all the way to the 200 level, 200 moving average. But to break below the 20 exponential could open the door to the previous lows here. And that is going, going to be where the test is for, for, for gold. If these, uh, the double bottom here breaks, then we can head all the way down to 1600 and probably also to 1500. So break above the 50 could open the door much higher and break below the 20 and the break of these two uh, double bottoms here that could open the door all the way down to 1500. So let's look at silver. So silver is uh, fairly more bullish than gold is. So we're trading above the 20 exponential at this current stage and it looks like we are going to head towards the 50 and moving average up here at $26. But still, there's not a lot of movement here. Uh, technical indicators are more bullish for silver than they are for gold. We had this massive rally yesterday and then continued the day. And uh, yes, a break above the 50, that could open the door to 27.5. Break below the 20 exponential and the 200 could open the door to back to these very lows at $23. So let's look at platinum. So platinum... Uh, did show some uh, life today, but uh, pulled back significantly at the 20 exponential. That is not a very good sign. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. MACD is uh, in bullish territory, just crossed the signal line, so it's bearish. Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish. So, yes, uh, break above the 20 and the 50, that could open the door to the previous highs here again at 1242. So, let's look at Pallium. So Pallium uh, has tested uh, this uh, resistant area numerous times now and has been rejected. So we could have pulled back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band or the 20 exponential down here at 2605. Uh, and if that breaks, then we could head all the way down to the very bottom or even the 50 moving average down here at 2457. Technical indicators are fairly flat at this current stage, but it's also because we are basically trading, um, mainly in almost trading sideways at this point. So we could look at this as a triangle, which we could break out towards uh, the upside, but um, at this current stage, pullbacks are kind of expected. So you can also look at this, this one that we had major, uh, these pullbacks are becoming smaller. So big one, medium one, 
even smaller here and then we could basically break towards the upside we are still in upward trend so that is most likely what is going to happen here but uh, technical indicators are not showing that at this current stage so let's look at aluminium so aluminium has reached above the um, top of the bullish band and it's at this point pull back towards the middle is most likely what is going to happen that is basically how this has been behaving in uh, in historically uh, since the basically beginning of uh, february this year we have rallying up towards the top broken down rally to the top broken down rally top and so on so pull back towards uh, 22 30 uh, 34 that's probably what's going to happen here before we go higher taking in the years are very bullish at this point so um yes that that is probably it so let's look at nickel so nickel has uh, tried to rally today we're tra still trading underneath the 20 exponential if we break about the 20 exponential we could head towards the top of the bullish band at 16,716 or the 50 moving average here at the 7,232 technical indicators are fairly all over the place so uh, yes we technically need a clear signal where this market is going at this current stage we're just hanging around in this same range of uh, kind of the highs here and the very lows down here so basically just hanging around in this area so let's look at the sugar so sugar had a major move today up towards the 50 moving average so this has completely turned around it looked like that we were going to head back towards the 200 moving average but today there was real serious movement towards the upside technicals are very bullish at this point you'll most likely find major resistance here at the 50 moving average but the way that this is moving now it looks like we are probably going to break the 50 moving average break below the 50 the 20 exponential that could open the door back towards the 200 uh, moving average so let's look at cotton it's cotton very similar move here um, we found the bottom down here at 0 0.77 50, uh, 51 and now we're trading at uh, all the way up here at the uh, 0 0.8394 we're running it most likely going to run in a major resistance here at the 50 moving average so a pullback from here could be expected we also have the top of the bullish band at this point if we break about the 50 then we could head all the way up towards uh, 0 0.9 and probably these previous highs but rejection and pullback from below the 20 exponential could open the door all the way back towards these previous lows so let's look at cocoa So Kokoa also very similar move towards the upside towards the 200 moving average where this is a very bullish candlestick we have no pullback at the end of of the session which is a very a, a bullish sign technical indicators are all turning around so 20 200 moving averages here to 50 moving average here if these two break then we could see this go all the way back towards the previous highs here at the 2.658 and probably also all the way up towards the highest here of 2.8 rejected from if you get rejected at 200 moving average and then break down again then we could head towards 2.319 so let's look at wheat so we had even better today day to day so we are getting significantly lower stretch we also see this massive pullback but we are well above the 50 moving average so this could be a new bullish run that we'll see here from the wheat market so technical indicators are uh, all very bullish at this current stage if we get uh, another green candlestick above the 50 moving average and the, probably a test at a 50 moving average and and bounce from there then that will basically confirm that the 50 moving average will act as support and we will continue trending towards the upside so if that is the case then we'll probably head back towards these previous highs here at 680 and 690 give or take break below the 20 exponential could open the door back towards the 200 moving average all the way down here so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over on patreon the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.